Hello, fellow COVID quarantiners. Um, today we're going to be bending some brass for the tip of the stems of the guide boat. I've done it a couple times. Um, it's a tricky metal because it doesn't behave like steel. So the first thing we're going to do is anneal it, which is to heat it up with a torch just below red. Um, you can either let it cool on its own or you can quench it. It doesn't really matter either way as long as it gets cool. And then it becomes much more malleable, apparently like, like lead almost. So we're gonna get, try to get this eighth inch brass bar stock to bend around this profile. I'm gonna drill a couple holes here in the mold just so I can clamp it down if I need to to get that metal to conform to that concavity. I just cleaned up the, the holes that we cut in, in this mold with a chisel so that our C-clamps can get up tight against that flat facet. Um, we're, we're ready to bend, but when you when you get brass bar stock, as I was mentioning before, it, it's, it's kind of work hardened when it goes through the rollers to make this bar, and we gotta soften it up in a process called annealing. Apparently this works better in the dark because you can see the color change. And uh, for those of you who are thinking, hmm, he's holding a piece of hot metal with another piece of metal. Did he not go to science class? If it hurts, I'll stop. Heat that up for a little bit. I'm going to call that the proper temperature for kneeling because I can. And we'll find out one way or the other. So, when you, when you cool it, you can either do it by air cooling or quenching. Quenching sounds like more fun to me. In steel, this actually hardens the steel. In brass, it does not. It simply cools it. So, turn this guy off. We got a bucket of water down here. And we'll call that annealed. All right, so we're set up here for the bend. We got a piece of brass that we've annealed, clamped to the the mold. And if this is as soft as I hope it's going to be, it should just be a matter of leveraging this down. Alright, so everything's clamped, secure, and I'm going to try to, rather than going all the way up here for leverage, I'm going to try to focus some of that bend right here. It's not, it's definitely not as soft as lead, I'll tell you that. But it, it is bending. Here's the bend we've achieved so far. Um, and we'll, we'll try to tweak it and improve it. That was round one. It's fairly close, right? And so what I'm gonna do, rather than try to get exactly that profile, I didn't get quite the concavity that I wanted up in the top. I'm gonna trace what I did get onto the stem and work the wood rather than the metal. See how this thing fits after cutting. Ah, not too bad. Now. 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 Now, uh, let's go. 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 U
All right, so after a little bit of fussing, our uh, piece of hardware is looking pretty good. Ready to bed and fasten, and we're gonna call it a day.